so um so the gavi work um mm. kavi 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 the kavi work kenya uh, aids, vaccine. aids vaccine initiative uh, <clears throat> how long did it for Four years. For four years. So the maximum I've given any employer is four years. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like a institution. It's like high school, university. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I did my which four is years. fair. Which is fair. It's uh, it's good. I mean, it's a good relationship uh, yeah. to, to 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 have um, a time period for. So that four years, um, you've done that. You've you know you've done quite a bit in terms of pioneering, mm. even in that particular space. Um, how does it then morph into the next thing? Yeah, so I felt I felt I'd reached the glass ceiling, mm-hmm. and the only way of uh, breaking it was if my boss died. Oh, okay. yeah, <laughs> my boss is still alive yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I just felt I had given my part, yeah. and I needed to move to something else. Mm-hmm. Again, I think uh, that's why I kept on saying I, I don't think I, I know how to describe myself in in a box because mm, mm. I can do anything. Even now, I can go into farming mm. and still thrive in it. In mm. terms of, for me, it's about social impact. So, did that mm. um, was approached by a friend mm-hmm. who was also who was in the farmer side, mm-hmm. a doctor also. Mm. Again, I think he was the only doctor at that time. Mm. So he told me this this farmer was recruiting if I was interested. Mm. And you know, for us farmer that time, um, it was more for pharmacists mm-hmm. than medical doctors. Mm. Um, so I didn't even know what I was getting into, but I knew I needed to get out mm. of, of this other side. Mm. And so I, I even took, I remember Skype had just come in mm-hmm. and we did the interview on Skype. I was in my bed. This? It's 209. 209. Okay. Yeah. All right. And they were asking, you know, medical school teaches you to answer things confidently, mm. even if you don't know what you're saying. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so I remember doing this interview very confidently, but saying wrong things <laughs> because I didn't know the answer to mm. a couple of things that were in the pharma lingo. Mm. So I didn't get that mm-hmm. that job. Mm. And uh, he told me, you know, you need to have prepared for all your CV is very... Mm. skewed towards the research side mm. so you need to bring that out mm. so he helped me because another opportunity came shortly after mm. i think most farmers are now starting to establish their their operations from here mm-hmm. and medical affairs especially mm. so i got um this time i was better prepared mm. and i got into GlaxoSmithKline. right yeah as a medical advisor the yeah. first medical doctor mm. i know Givinja has been there but he was in the marketing side mm. Mm. so i still say i claim the first medical doctor for the at gsk at, in the medical affairs yeah. team yeah mm. yeah so that's how i got into glaxo smith mm. and again also learning curve mm. because now all this is now pharma mm. But a lot of training, those guys really invest in mm. uh, the training, mm. they invest in um, public speaking, they mm. invest in media relations, because right. pharma is always in the media for one right. thing or another. Right. And they invest in research and development. Right. So I really enjoy it because, yeah. again, it's teaching me things yeah. that are beyond medicine. Yeah. 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 And then there's the traveling, there's mm. this, the idea. I think for me, I thrive in environments where I'm coming to make, create something, mm. Mm. especially if there's chaos mm. or if it's a new thing. Mm. Mm. So for me, it was, again, um, the research space mm-hmm. was um, a new thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, pharma was a new oh, thing because they, they were getting yeah. doctors on board. Yeah. Yeah, so I really enjoyed I was there for two and a half years, three and a half years. Yeah, oh, that's... Yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> for me it was mm. significant. Mm. And then I I moved to a bigger, another organi- uh, bear. Mm. So bear they wanted now, they gave me a bigger role yeah. against setting up structures for them. Yeah, bear is also... Yeah, bear healthcare. Healthcare, bear, right. Bear are known more for women's health mm. pro- products. Mm-hmm. But also, oh, I've forgotten their products. There's some simple products that are over, over the counter. Um, so I went and set up again the structures mm. for Bear. You also moved there as medical advisor? No, there I was now medical director. Medical director? Yeah. Oh, okay. And overseeing more countries. I think 36 countries. Mm-hmm. 
Here I was seeing, I was seeing, I think three or four mm. East Africa. This one was East Africa, that mm. one was Sub-Saharan mm. Africa. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so that's how I moved to Bear, mm. doing similar thing, but mm. not at a bigger scale, mm. and also setting up. They had a leaner team mm. than this side. Mm. Mm. Yeah. How was how was the how was this period of um, being medical mm. advising around medical? in pharma medical affairs mm, medical affairs yeah it was it was very it was very you in know both organizations yeah. yeah i like that the, you had to interact and you had to compete because now it's mm. like it's for profit mm. remember i've moved from research yeah, yeah. which is non-profit mm. Mm. so for profit mm. so your product you have to support the yeah. commercial team to yeah. position products but without you selling both now as gsk and yes it's the bear. same yeah, role it's, yeah, it's the yeah same for role, all yeah. farmers because yeah. they're guided by a certain code of conduct yeah you so you need to know the science yeah because now you go and discuss with your peers who are yeah. the prescribers yeah the science yeah then the sales team comes and yeah. closes but if the product is not registered yeah it's only the medical staff who could talk to, about it and you only talk about it using yeah. the generic name and also um the science only you yeah. don't do the marketing pitch because yeah. it's not registered it was against the code to yeah. market something yeah. even if you're anticipating to register it yeah so i think that was interesting competing i remember at gsk mm. i got a, a general manager's award mm. for the first time for a non-sales person to get all oh, right because of the role i played in with the vaccines team in positioning um, pneumonia vaccine oh nice in kenya and in ethiopia right and also rotavirus vaccine, mm -hmm. the new vaccines. And you know, you had to compete with the, the other farmer. The rest, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. it means working with government, mm. working with the, the pediatricians, mm. working with, just to show value for mm. working with WHO when it was now uh, adopted, because it was a second injection. Mm. Um, before children only getting one injection. Mm. So now you have to train the workers into knowing which injection goes to which arm. Mm. And it was up to you, the farmer, mm. to develop those materials at mm. your cost, mm. to train and to monitor mm. side effects. Before the sales. No, this is now, the sales happens at UNICEF level. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because it's a national program. Right. Yeah. Right, so right. those are big, those, that was a big, that was it was huge. a big opportunity. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So you can imagine Ethiopia, where yeah. there are 80 million yeah. plus, so how many children are those? I think there were 1 million per year yeah. or more. Yeah. As guys were in the hundreds of thousands. Yeah. Either that or I've swapped the numbers. But anyway, mm. Ethiopia was a bigger market. There were more, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. So getting those vaccines, mm -hmm. and you know, each child gets three doses. Mm. So it's three doses times the number of children mm. born per year. Mm. Hmm. Uh, then for two countries. So mm. those are big cells. That was huge. Yeah. Yeah. So those that, those there are those conversations at now policy level. Yeah. Because now you had to change the training programs. You yeah. had to change attitude. Yeah. You had to do educational materials for the public. Yes. Because now people say saying uh, even one injection though are really people some people fear injections and the children getting injections then you tell them they're getting a second injection. Yeah. So you have to tell them why why yeah. do they have to get a second injection? Yeah. Um, when the rotavirus came, yeah. why do they have this? So those those are now vaccine related public health. Yeah, we had a couple of deaths also, mm. and those now also needed well, to be managed. Yeah. yeah, the PR around that. Yes, and mm. that was managed by the medical affairs also. Mm. 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 Or or maybe swelling, side effects. So side effects yeah. was part of so your our work. Office was constantly. Yes, you had busy. to be a lot. You yeah. had to be a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And then social media had just come, I yeah. think. And so you have to monitor also social media because mm. you're not allowed to respond to anything on social media if you're not the spokesperson. Mm. And the spokespeople used to be either the med managing director or the medical affairs mm. boss. So on, so for both organizations? For both. It's the same role. Yeah. Mm, so just different. What, what one or two experiences across bo both do you remember that stand out like? you know, that are very memorable for you? I think for me, it's the different cultures. Mm -hmm. um, because GSK is British. Mm -hmm. And the British way, and then it was very black. Mm -hmm. Like we hardly had any white Caucasian mm -hmm. person mm -hmm. in the country office. Mm. 
And so there's a certain way and freedom in which they gave you mm. to execute certain roles. Mm -hmm. And then Bear was German, mm. and German are into, you know, made in Germany means the yeah. process yeah. has one class, one should go to two, and two yeah. should go to three. Right. And um, I struggled a lot with mm. that because mm. it was a very different culture. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't even last long. I was there one and a half years, but not because of the culture, because something else happened. Mm. So I think the two cultures were totally different. GSK, we had lots of fun. Mm. The M the MD at that time mm. was such an open office kind of person. Mm. We had a bar in the office wow. for Fridays. Wow. <laughs> and then we had this thing of people going out. And when you go out, the oldest in terms of rank mm. picks the tab. Mm. Yeah, so there's a lot of freedom. Now the freedoms, I think, have been curtailed mm. because there's a lot of also uh, cost cutting, but also the codes have become, compliance has become tighter. Mm. We're also in charge of compliance mm -hmm. as medical affairs. Mm. So there were certain lines marketing were not supposed to cross or mm. sales were not supposed to cross mm. uh, because it would be seen as um, insight, not in, inciting is negative, influencing. Influencing. Yeah, right. prescription. Yes. Not to be based on science, yeah. but yeah. On, on what you're going to give I them. I see, I see. And there's a lot of that that happens, especially with uh, generic companies. Mm who don't subscribe. So for most of these um, bigger farmers, they subscribe to European codes of practice mm -hmm. or American codes of practice. Mm. And those are very stringent. Like if uh, something happened in Kenya, they'd be fined in the home country. Mm. And they're fined in the time just pounds. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So you had to, it was a sort of an, an even playing field mm -hmm. because these are the guys, mm. I mean, <laughs> I've seen doctors mm taken for holidays with their families, mm. you know, mm. or you get your subscription of uh, Netflix paid for super sport or whatever it is. Mm. And you see that does not have anything to do with science. Mm. So those are, those are, those are behaviors considered to be enticing. Yeah. Others even have three prescription oh. leaves. Wow. So one to the patient, one you keep, one stays in the pharmacy. Mm. And the other one, the med rep comes to pick. Mm. Then they pay you according to the number of prescriptions. Whoa. Yeah, there's a lot of that happening. Wow.